Hi guys. Oh my goodness, do I have a pile of stuff here? So um, today I want to try out the Anna Griffin border stickers, I guess they're stickers, that um, Anna recently put on HSN. And I did a haul video when they came in, so I opened them up. And you can see that's why they're like this. But then I also grabbed some other things so we can play with them today. I think I'm going to make a card, which is not typical for me, especially for using border stickers like these. But um, we'll try them out that way. So uh, if these are still available, I'll link them in the description box. Those would be affiliate links, which means I'll make a small commission for your purchase items. Those links, possibly with HSN and YouTube, they have a new affiliate program, so it might be a little... Um, like shopping bag or some little thing here that you can click on. Uh, but definitely all the links will be in the description box because I know sometimes those don't find the product for some reason. Um, but yeah, so I reopened these up and I showed them to you guys how, uh, as I was going through, I'm like, oh yeah, you know, they layer or it looks like, you know, you can layer them together, you can cut them up. But I didn't realize they were designed <laughs> to layer. <laughs> like this one is exactly the same as what's here. Well, I don't know about exactly the same, but pretty much exactly the same. Um, and then they have them in the red color, right, with the red roses. And some of these other ones have pieces that also layer. Um, like this guy. You know, it looks like it got cut away from there, right? So there's some different fun things we can do with them. I think I'm going to choose one, and it hurts my heart to cut them, and I know... It will for you too, but I did order two sets because I knew it was going to be like, oh, okay, let's take one of these. I'm only going to use one. I am going to cut it seven inches long though, so for like a five by seven, more of an Anna Griffin um, size card. Uh, and these are the gorgeous ones. Oh my gosh. Um, yeah, what comes from there? Is it these guys? Oh yeah, it is this one. Okay, so I'm going to take one of these guys too. We are going to layer this, and I really want that to be the focal point but I grabbed some other things and honestly I didn't even look at the colors but you know it's Anna stuff so it's all going to coordinate um I was hoping to find a card base and I don't know I found these and hopefully these aren't just envelopes I think there's a five by seven card base in here if not I'll have to make one uh, I need a five by seven card base so I will probably make one and since I'm going to make my own I thought those were card bases I saw envelopes in there too uh, I'm going to use cream colored paper because that's more going with like what we have here but I grabbed some other items for borders I grabbed like the wishing well embellishments just because I know they has cute little flowers in here and I wanted something small like this sentiment here is small so that you can really see this border um, I grabbed this which is a china cabinet you know paper crafting kit so let's just jump right into it but let me grab a card base and if you're making your own from a2 size paper you're gonna want to cut your paper at seven inches on the eight and a half inch side and then ten inches on the eleven inch side and score it at five inches right so I'll be right back scoring this guy at five inches All right, cut it down to ten by seven and then I need a background piece of paper to start everything off so what's nice about this paper China cabinet paper crafting kit is obviously I have papers I can either cut down like this one I already kind of have but we have these pieces and I want something to kind of fall in the back um, but do we maybe this one this one is really calling my name <laughs> I don't really use the plate side just uh, for cards and things it's not that easy for me I was thinking maybe this one but let's go with this guy I'm going to trim this down to five by seven so it is going to sit right on top actually are these already five by seven they are, so I don't have to do anything, and actually that's two pieces. So I'm just going to go ahead and just glue this down, guys, and then we'll go from there, okay? So I'm just going to glue that right on. So we have that. Very pretty. And so what I'm thinking is this guy obviously is going to go, well, not obviously, I mean, this is what I want to do, is put it right down the center. Now, I do see how this is finished off nicely. If I cut it at seven, it's not finished off nicely down here. Kind of a bummer, because I wanted to be able to do a five-inch piece the next time, so if I cut it at seven... But, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. that's not going to look pretty. I might have to cut into it and then cut into it again. Or what do you guys... Well, see, I feel like I should cut it here and here. Which is really kind of destroying the thing. Uh, I don't see maybe there. It would be more even. But then we're gonna also going to cut this one down. Oh, that's a bummer. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. I feel like I need to... Uh, maybe we'll still cut it there and just ignore that it's perfect here and kind of weird there. Okay, sure. Okay, and then I have this border dies, and so I just want to kind of layer some of these up. Probably not the one with the bows, but I want to have some peeking out and then some more peeking out. So I think I'm going to run this through some gold paper, and I want two of them. 
Now I can definitely just do one cut it in half and put one on either side. Should I just do that? Make it a quicker card? Let's do that. <laughs> but with this one, it has different sides as you can see that they look different. So I will definitely cut two of this. So let's cut one of this from some gold paper. I'm going to cut it in half. This guy I'm going to run two of it through like a cream color paper just to have like something that tones things down in the background. So I will be right back. So round those through. It's nice to get just the two of these. And then this guy, I was just going to show you he's really in there. Oh, hey, but most of everything popped out of it. I didn't realize that. Very cool. Okay, so um, I'll go ahead and take a moment to cut this one right down the middle. And we'll use both pieces. <laughs> I keep finding more and more pieces that are still in there. I was like, oh, it's pretty clean. No. Okay. Um, and the other two guys, we're just going to leave them full the way they are. So this guy, I'm just going to eyeball what that is. You can kind of see in the design that there's like a center. And... You know, it doesn't matter if you're a little bit off because it's going to be behind. There we go. Okay, let me clean up a little bit. And so now that we have these, we have that guy. We're going to definitely have to cut this. So, again, where do you want these cut, you know? Um, of course, I try to get more value out of what I have going on here. This are... These are, they're 12 inches, but this one's a little bit shorter because it kind of inlays with what's going on. And I guess I was thinking about cutting it here. Actually, it looks like it's looking the other way, isn't it? All right, fine. So we'll cut it here. Um, actually, you know, now that I turn, I'm like, hmm. I mean, the flowers are really, I guess, subjective. Whatever you want them to look like. It looks like this one's facing down. I was facing up. So when you turn it the other way, then you're like, oh, I don't know if that works either. Um, this way. And that's a little scary, guys. I'm actually going to layer this on here and cut them both at the same time. That's probably a bad idea, but that's okay. We will try it anyway. Uh, let's bring this back. And I want this to be seven inches long, so I'm instead of extending this, I'm going to line this up and cut this side at five inches. So, budding this up to the end, to the five inch mark. Oh. Hurts my heart, I know. It hurts yours too. <laughs> but this is what it is, guys. So I'm going to take it there and I'm going to do a quick motion to cut through them, hopefully. Hey, that's pretty good because these are sticker papers, I thought. I think. I don't really know, actually, now that I look at them. Let's try. Oh, they are. Okay. Um, now you have this piece that hopefully is about five inches. You can use it on a different card. Let me be going in this direction, or maybe you orient your card, you know, however, and then you do something similar, right? Whatever you want. But we have this little piece, and that was very sad for all of us. Okay. Um, now let's see. So this is going to be here, and it's going to layer up, pop up. Very good. Um, I feel like everything has to kind of layer on this before I put it down. I don't know. So this is going to be kind of peeking out back here and this one too. That's what I was envisioning. Oh, that's what we can do. I'm going to go ahead and take this off of here. And did we decide how I was going to have this? Like this, right? That doesn't, the part doesn't really matter. Anyway, I'm going to bring this over and line this up as best I can behind here so that it's just peeking out, but in a straight way. Let's put that there, all the way down here. And I'm doing this in the air. You definitely don't have to do that. Hopefully they kind of line up. Okay, that looks good. Now I did that up so I can see what I'm doing, but maybe on this side I can put it down. I don't know. I feel like... before I really push that down. That looks pretty good. Okay, perfect. All right, so there you go. And that's gonna be there, oh my gosh. And then this side, I haven't really decided which side I want to show. Hmm, this side's very lacy, but it's very straight, where this one gives it kind of a different look, doesn't it? Ah, <laughs> okay, let's go with this side. And I'm just kind of lining it up. Ah! Look at the top and the bottom. I'm looking where these guys are pointing to see if I can line that up pretty well. Like there-ish. Okay. Same thing with this other side. 
before I really push that down, let's see what that looks like. That's cute. Um, I need to bring it out a little bit more. See how these are barely touching that area? That's what I want for both sides. Okay. Oh my gosh. Now we have this whole piece <laughs> that I can definitely pop up or just stick down. I feel like I should pop it up, huh? Okay, so let's put some dimensionals behind here. Um, these are the Anna Griffin dimensionals, the ones that are a little bit thicker, because I can definitely go for the bigger ones. I always end up using these smaller ones. Now you can kind of see through here. Um, still going to try to place them so that it's not super noticeable. So like here, you know, like in these little areas. All down here. It's definitely down the middle and then all down here. And I'll be right back. Taking the carriers off and oh, so pretty. I mean, again, you know, do you like the flowers going this way? It's hard for me to tell which one is up or down, but let's just go like that. And I'm going to try to center that. I can see that, you know, the die 5x7 is doing its own thing, basically, because they're still sticking up a little. Now, if you don't like that, you can definitely trim it down so it's all the same. Because um, down here it is a little different, but I mean, what are you gonna do? Uh, I don't know. I think it needs to be a little higher up. Uh, sorry, guys. Something like that. Okay, let's turn this over. That's quite pretty. Now we have this guy, and I'm going to pop this one up on the smaller dimensionals, although they are tiny. I mean, this is a sticker, but I am going to use the ones that are lower profile because these are thicker. This is looking like a hot mess, I know. Um, these guys. Nope, those are actually, yes, I'll use these. These aren't the Anna Griffin ones that are just in here. Um, they are lower profile, and they're a little bigger, so they'll be easier to work with. So I'm going to frame this out as well as I can to keep this nice and sturdy. So like there, maybe a piece in here. You know, I always do a skip, <laughs> maybe one in the center. Okay, so I'm just going to go and place these and take all the backs off them, and I'll be right Let's back. More carriers, and these are going to be so pretty. Oh my gosh. Okay, do I have it the right way? Yes, and I'm just going to place it here. I no. <laughs> oh, I do have it the right way. Yes. No, not exactly. Um, there we go. And these little adhesives I have are very sticky. This is such a pretty design. Oh my gosh, hold on. Like I said, I'm trying to line them up. They're not exactly identical, but they're pretty close, which is interesting. Okay. And so when you do that, literally the only thing you're seeing that's different from the row or the um, strip underneath is this area. That's like the tapestry looking. Just peeking out here and there. Right? So, I mean, if you don't want to layer them up and you want to get more bang for your buck with those borders, I mean, you can definitely just leave this off and, you know, maybe have a complete um, die behind it. Like, this guy wouldn't cut it in half. I would just place this over it. Something like that. But look how pretty, I mean, the layers are gorgeous. And it is layered. It's not covering up everything, so that's good. And let me see what we have in here. Even the china cabinet ones would be good because there are a lot of smaller, like, circular ones. Yeah, on your birthday, get well wishes. Get well wishes. Oh, get well wishes. <laughs> Do you see how the intonation of <laughs> that sounds different when you like? It sounded funny. Uh, oh, thank you. You know, I love my thank you cards. I mean, and then that way everything's just showing and it's so pretty. This is the first time we're kind of introducing like a pink. So, you know, sending well wishes. Do we have a thank you that's bluish? Happy birthday. Not really wishing you well. Oh, that's right, because these are from the wishing well thing. Happy birthday. We do have a happy birthday in this green. It actually isn't too bad, but it is covering quite a bit. But look at that. I mean, I will say that goes very nicely. But I wasn't looking for happy birthdays. I was looking for a thank you. So let's do this guy. And this does have sticky, but then it's going to be falling off the sides. So I'm going to go ahead and put some of the same dimensionals on the very sides and then just put this on here. Okay, but I'll be right back. So I have dimensionals here and there. The same thickness as what I just used on the flowers. They're so pretty. Um, but we are going to put a little bit of glue in this very center. So at least it's making contact. Just keeping it a little more secure. 
And I mean, you can put this wherever you like. I just feel like it should go right in the center. And before I really push down, I'm gonna make sure, yeah, these little areas are kind of helping me decide what center is. Um, yeah, it looks pretty good. So I'm gonna push that down. And it's made contact with the flowers, and that is that. Let me clean up a little bit, and I'll show it to you better. Do so you guys watch Hunky Dory videos? They usually go live, and they always, like, they'll work on their card, and obviously they're kind of having a creative mess, and then they clean everything off, and then they present it, <laughs> even though it's live, and you see what they were doing, you know? it's I love that. I don't know. I just like the way that feels, you know? So that's what I do. I'm like, let me clean up here, and then I'll show you the card, but there you go. So, lovely. I mean, this honestly took minutes i mean obviously i talk and do all these things but if i was just concentrating on doing this i mean maybe 10 minutes maybe <laughs> so there you go um five by seven card again if you're making your own card base from a two um yeah a two size paper you're going to do 10 inches by seven score at five inches the five by seven mat layer was already there and then just cutting these other pieces and it just came together really really nicely you know, hopefully this is really noticeable and something that the person can appreciate when they receive it. Not too covered up and it's just our, our focal point really. So there you are. Alright guys, thanks for watching. I'll have images coming up. I'll have links in the description box and possibly here. And I'll see you all at the next one. Bye now.